There are, for the purpose of this project, two primary types of literary patterns in use. There is the parallel pattern in which items are stated in order and then repeated in order, or the chiastic pattern in which items are stated in one order and then repeated in reverse order. Both are useful for various reasons, and both are present on the base level of the Patterns Bible. Let me explain. The Patterns Bible explores these literary patterns on multiple levels. The first level, the individual pericopes, is contained within the flow of the text itself. So let's open up to Genesis and use a visual aid to help describe what is going on. At the base level in the flow of the text of Genesis, there are 81 back-to-back -back literary patterns within this book alone. That means 81 distinct pieces that contain either a chiasm or a parallel. We have chosen for the sake of this explanation to represent each piece as an individual circle. So that means 81 circles back-to-back -back in order. Each one of these circles is its own pattern. Pretty cool, right? Well, that is just the beginning. If we zoom out and examine Genesis as a whole, using these 81 pieces as our building block, we will discover that the entirety of Genesis is a chiasm itself. Using these 81 pieces as the individual parts of the chiasm, with the center being in piece 41. At this level, piece 1 matches piece 81, piece 2 matches piece 80, 3 matches 79, and so on to the center. Now, if that was where it ended, that would indeed be significant, but it does not end there. If we take those 81 pieces and split them down the middle, we can create two separate chiasms. Both chiasms create a separate and unique chiastic structure. Piece 1 matches piece 41. Piece 2 matches 40, with a center in 21. And then on the other side, piece 41 matches 81. 42 matches 80, and so on, with a center in 61. Now this nesting is also significant as we find that each individual piece serves as a connector on multiple levels. But it doesn't stop there. Genesis alone can be split into thirds, forming three separate chiasms with centers in 14, 41, and 68. And even further down, Genesis can be split into fourths, fifths, sixths, eighths, ninths, tenths, and eighteenths. At each split, a new chiasm is formed, and the pattern takes on a new aspect, size, and a new item is highlighted from each individual piece. As I hope you can see, the fractal nature of this is a mathematical progression as well as a repeatable pattern. You see, Genesis is not the only book with 81 pieces. Other books of the Bible with 81 pieces are the books of Samuel, Kings, Chronicles, Isaiah, Jeremiah, the Gospel of Mark, and Revelation. And each one of these books with 81 pieces can be broken down into the exact same pattern. And 81 pieces is neither the most nor the least number of pieces represented in the Bible. The pattern scales up to the books of Matthew and Luke, which can be split into 145 pieces each, and all the way down to books such as Obadiah and Philemon which are a simple, single, self-contained chiasm on their own. If it were just one book that worked according to this pattern, that would be spectacular enough, but to see this pattern repeated in every book of the Bible, independent of translation, is phenomenal. The depth of this text is astounding, and this pattern does not reveal every chiasm available to literary Bible scholars but we do hope to include every chiasm that we can find whether it fits this pattern or not. Discovering the pattern is complete. Now comes the hard part, making it understandable to you, the audience. For that, we have had to innovate in a few different ways. First, we have had to create an index to allow the user to easily discover their place in the pattern. And second, we had to create a user interface to allow the user easy access to view this pattern on all its levels. So come along into the next video as we speak on the index and the user interface.